The trompe l'oeil violin is one of the most iconic things at Chatsworth. It is really important because it's the thing which visitors remember more than any other single thing. For a lot of people it is Chatsworth. People do get very upset if for some reason it's not on the visitor route. They can sometimes be in tears. The world's greatest collectors are not only defined by great wealth. Sotheby's takes you inside Chatsworth House, the ancestral home of the Duke and Duchess of Devonshire. Discover the passion that has driven 16 generations of the Cavendish family to create one of the world's most extraordinary art collections. There is in one of the, the rooms a wonderful trompe l'oeil piece, the, which is a violin and bow hanging on the back of a door. A trompe l'oeil is a trick of the eye, and it's painted to look three-dimensional. It's so wonderfully painted, it's so trompe l'oeil. It's really a wonderful magic thing. You really have the sense of the presence of this, of this thing which is not present. Some of the people will say to me, who last played it, who owned it, who made it? I have to sometimes take people and show them much nearer that, that it's actually a painting, not a real object. You open one door, and then on the inner door, as if hanging on the nail on the back of it, you have the violin and the bow. The peg upon which it hangs is in fact gilt metal. So there's a double trompe l'oeil going on there. And that makes you even more convinced that the rest of it is real. The artist has also really cleverly used the fall of light. He's made the light come from exactly the right direction, just as it would if you opened a door and saw a real violin hanging there. Although this sort of illusionistic painting was really very popular, there aren't a lot of them that survive today. And I'm not aware of anything else that's exactly like this. The evidence that it was painted by van der Vaart is largely circumstantial. It's not actually signed. He is recorded as having charged the Duke of Devonshire for cleaning the painting in 1723. And then in 1760, there's a note from Horace Walpole saying that he saw the painting by van der Vaart at Chatsworth. During the Civil War period in England, a lot of aristocrats fled to the continent and quite a few of them settled in Holland. Then after the restoration of Charles II to the throne in 1660, they all came back again, but they brought with them a taste for Dutch art and in many cases Dutch artists. Van der Vaart was one of a group of artists who came over at that time and worked around many country houses. It was probably painted for Devonshire House because that's where we have the first records of it. It escaped the fire there in 1733 and came to, to Chatsworth, but it really didn't become the icon that it is now until the Sixth Duke added it to the door in the state music room here. The trompe l'oeil violin is one of the most iconic things that people come back again and again to look at at Chatsworth. They've brought friends or relations or they've come back to see it because they remember it from their childhood. Although children often don't find art very interesting or very cool, they find the violin incredibly cool. They'll ask all sorts of questions about it. So that's what we want. We want kids to start looking at art and pictures like that. I remember from my very first visit to Chatsworth, feeling that it was an extraordinary place because the Duke and the family want to share what they have, want to share what they love with everyone who's interested. And you feel that every time you walk through the house or through the grounds.